so now let's see what are the topics that we are going to discuss in this video so what exactly the 2d transformation i'll explain what exactly the 2d transformation is and what are the different types of the 2d transformations and what is a 2d scaling okay so in this 2d transformation there are different types will be there translation scaling sharing reflection rotation so so many types of other okay in that one of the concept is a scaling concept so we will see what exactly the 2d scaling is and with an examples uh, okay and we will see uh, finally we will work out with some uh, problem so that you will get a complete clarity on what exactly this 2d scaling is right so by sure at the end of this video you will get a complete clarity on the scaling concept now now let's have a look on what is 2d transformation so before going to understand the 2d transformation let's try to understand the transformation what is a transformation a transformation is nothing but changing anything any object is they try to change that object if you change that object shape color size whatever it may be then it is a transformation right so you are uh, doing a makeover so whenever you are doing a makeover the real objects uh, shape everything will be changing okay so that is a transformation a transformation is nothing but changing some graphics to enter picture by applying a rules you are trying to apply uh, you are capturing a picture and trying to apply the graphics on that picture and you are applying the filters on that picture and you are trying to change the picture the size and orientation also you can be changed okay that is a transformation transformation plays an important role in a computer graphics to reposition the graphics on the screen and change their size or orientation transformation can be applied on already created object this is a very important students because you can apply the transformation only to the created object already existing object okay so you are trying to apply the filters whatever the picture that is you already captured right in the same way whatever the object that is already present and that picture only you are trying to apply the techniques so first object has to be there then try to apply the modification on that object so 2d transformation applies on 2d dimensional plane the different types of transformations or the translation scaling rotation sharing and the reflection so these are the five different types of the transformations and you can apply the 2d technique uh, you can apply these five transformations on the 2d plane or as well as the 3d plane you can apply on the 3d objects as well as on the 2d objects now coming to what exactly the scaling is what do you mean by scaling scaling is nothing but it is used to alter the size of an object it is going to change the size of an object okay so how either it can expand your object or it can uh, reduce the dimensions of the object so the scaling concept is nothing but it is trying to alter the size of your object either expand means increasing the object size or reduce by decreasing the object size the scaling operation can be done by multiplying every vertex coordinates x y of a polygon with a scaling factor sx that is the x direction and sy to produce a transformed coordinate suppose if you want to find a new coordinate so you simply uh, take the old coordinate apply the scaling factor that is alter size the scaling factor sx if you want to find the y you need to multiply multiply the every uh, every vertex coordinates of a polygon so where sx and xy are nothing but a scaling factors we used to call it as a scaling factors so which scales the object in x and y direction so the above equation can be represented in the matrix form so this is a matrix from x dash y dash okay so is is sx sx 0 0 sy okay and this is a old coordinate so this is a new coordinates and this is the scaling uh, scaling factors and this is the old coordinates so simply you can write p dash is equal to s into p right so now let's see this is a simple example so see the before translation how it look like so this is a it's small size and this is after scaling it is in big size the object is in big size suppose the scaling factor whatever the scaling factor sx or sy or less than 
they are less than 1, reduce the size. Size is reduce. Means it becomes a small size. The object size is small. Reduce. Suppose the Sx is greater than 1 and Sy is also greater than 1, then it will increase. Increase the size. Increase the size of an object. Let me explain you clearly. Okay. So points remember. If scaling factor is 1. Suppose the scaling factor is 1. Sx is equal to 1 and Sy is equal to 1. Then there is no change in the object size. As it is whatever the object size you are already presented. That object only displayed. There is no change in the object size. So that means the your old coordinates. New coordinates is old coordinates only. Your new coordinates or old coordinates only. Suppose if the scaling factor is greater than 1, then the object size is enlarged. It will going to enlarge either in twice or thrice or whatever it may be. It is going to be enlarged. And suppose if the scaling factor is less than 1, then the object size is reduced. It is trying to reduce the size of your already existing object. So these points you have to be remember that. Okay. So now let's solve one problem. Then you will get it how the scaling concept is applied on the object so that my object size is going to be increase or decrease so let's take the increase the size of an object to double that is a scaling factor so they are given sx as 2 and on y axis sy is as 2 let the coordinates of the point a 1 comma 1 4 comma 4 c 4 comma 1 so this is a uh, and find the new coordinates okay so how you are going to find the new coordinates so let's take the first one a 1 comma 4 so for this i am finding the new coordinates so Find the new coordinates. How you are going to find the new coordinates? So let's take this is x naught and y naught. Okay. So now x1 is equal to x naught into scaling factor sx. And y1 is equal to y y naught into scaling factor sy. So what is x naught? 1. And what is the scaling factor? 2. And what is y naught? 4. What is the scaling factor? 2. So you will get what? 2 comma 8. So a a dash new coordinates are 2 comma 8. Right. So now let's take like this take the another one. Now take another coordinates b 4 comma 4. So for this find the new factors 4 comma 4. Okay. So let's take this is x naught and this is y naught. Now x1 is equal to x naught into sx. So this x naught. So this is 4 and the scaling factor given it as x direction is 2. 4 2 is 8. And y1. y0 into sy. So what is y0? 4. And what is the scaling factor of sy? It's a 2. So this is 8. So b dash. The new coordinates are 8 comma 8. This is over. Now let's take the another coordinates. So another coordinate is c. C. What the c given points? 4 comma 1. Let's take this as x0 and y0. So x1 is equal to x0 that is 4 into scaling factor. Scaling factor is 2, 8. And y1, y0 that is 1. The scaling factor is 2, 2. So the new coordinates is c is 8 comma 2. Okay. So now let's take the last d coordinates. D coordinates is given as 1 comma 1. Let's take this as x0 and y0. Right. So now x1 is equal to x0 1 into scaling factor sx 2 and y1 is equal to scaling factor uh, sorry y0 that is 1 into scaling factor 2. So the new coordinates here d dash is, is 2 comma 2. Okay. So let me erase all these things. Just remember this x, x, uh, a coordinates are 2 comma 8, 8 comma 8, 8 comma 2 and 2 comma 2. Okay, so now let's try to draw it. Zero, x direction, y direction. Let me take two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so first let me draw the old object. Okay, so a is one comma four. So one and this is, let's take this is four. And B is 4 comma 4. So here. And C is 4 comma 1. This is 4 and 1 is somewhere here. And D is 1 comma 1. 
let's say this is here. So this is a square. This is my original object. So now I am applying the scaling factor on this and I'm my size is going to be uh, increased. Why the size is going to be increased? Because the scaling factor Sx and Sy are greater than 1. Whenever the scaling factors Sx and, S -A -S -X and Sy are greater than 1, okay, then the object size is going to be increased. Whenever the scaling factor Sx and Sy are greater than 1, object size is going to be increased. So, let's see whether the object size is going to increase or not. So, what are the new factor, new coordinates I got? A dash is, I got it as 2 comma 8. And B dash, I got it as 8 comma 8. And C dash is like somewhere, uh, it is like 8 comma 2. And D dash is 2 comma 2. These are my new coordinates. Now, apply. 2 comma 8. So, this is 2 and this is 8. And next, B dash, 8 comma 8. So, somewhere here. And C, 8 comma 2. This X coordinate 8 and Y is 2. And D dash, 2 comma 2. This is. So, is my object size increased or decreased? Increased because the scaling factor Sx, Sxy are greater than 1. So, whenever it is greater than 1, the object size will be increased. So, this is my new, new after scaling. Let's write after scaling. After scaling and this is before scaling. Okay. Now is it clear? So this is A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. So A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. Sorry, this is A only. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is A only. Okay. Okay, fine. This is A, B, C, D. And the new coordinates are A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. So, I think you get a complete clarity on what exactly the scaling factor is. Scaling, 2D scaling technique is. Okay. So, still if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.